Head smashed in Buffalo Jump Slight World left. Heritage Site. Well, made it to the Head Smashed in Buffalo Jump historical site. Just gonna head on up. Looks like you gotta go through a main entrance. And it doesn't, it says it doesn't open until 10. So I'll take my time and then uh, see what's what. Let's see what this sign has to say. It's smashed in Buffalo Jump, UNESCO World Heritage Site. There's all you need to know about it. If you want to read it. In the 1800s, according to legend, a young brave wanted to witness the plunge of Buffalo as his people drove them to their death over the cliffs. <laughs> Interpretive Center. I don't really need this. I'll just go in and see if I can just walk somewhere to check out the jump area. Heading up in the elevator. She gave me directions to get out to the cliff area, which is the main interest for me. We'll see how it goes from there. Two to three, and then down the hallway and up another elevator. Take the stairs. You don't need, yeah, this is here. You can take stairs. Let's try the stairs, see if they, uh, if, oh, that's just a fire exit. Maybe I better not. There's buffalo, bison. No, I better follow directions. Follow directions, Steve. Get him out of the elevator down the hallway, looks like. Yes, going up to six. Up to six. Sixth floor. Sixth floor. Open sesame. Six. And cliff, cliff trail. Huh, pretty good signage. Yesterday in Alberta. Now it's great. Okay. Outside. Upper trail. dollars entry fee which is quite reasonable and it looks like maybe the local First Nations owns this place runs it uh, 
darn wind. I don't know how that's going to be on the audio, but I might just cut it out and put some nice music if it's too, uh, too noisy. to go over by the cliff area but not allowed probably because of uh, insurance reasons see looky there I was thinking it would be much higher but I guess it doesn't have to be they run off they fall they break some legs and whatnot then the braves on the bottom the hunting party Finishes them off. So if we're going that lower path, we get an upper upper view. Jump. Oh, archaeological dig. I don't know if this is a reenactment or a natural spot. Probably a reenactment. Quite impressive display they have here, though. Bison looking a little thin. Some bones they found. In a hundred years, I'll be dug up myself if I fall in. The archaeological dig. It's a study they do, maybe some university or school, she was saying. That's interesting. They dig it out in quadrants. See if they can find bones and arrowheads, whatever. Okay, thanks. Have a good day. Sifting. Interesting. Okay, let's go see how close we can get to the cliff and imagine buffalo falling. Yeah, I think I'm on a lower path here. I don't want to be this low. And we'll see if there's another one going up. Actually, a cliff span quite a ways. I don't know if they used them all or 
practice certain ones. This is where they have the display, maybe just because it's the closest. But it also looks about the steepest drop. We'll see when we get up closer. Marmot or groundhog or something on that rock. Sure enough. See it moving? What is that? Looking ground, not a groundhog. Prairie dog maybe. Pretty big. Just setting himself on the rock. into the high grass. Oh, there he is up there. So here it is from the bottom anyway. You know, yeah, it definitely would break legs and stuff jumping off of there. Always wanted to stop here, check it out, and now I did. Here's where the dramatic hunt came to an end. Now off to Drumheller. Catch you on the next video.